This video is going to go over the basics of APA citation style. Let's start with an overview. APA citations have two parts. The in-text citations, which is what you put in the body of your paper, and the reference list, which is what you put at the end of the paper. Two things to keep in mind with in-text citations and references. For every in-text citation, quotation, or paraphrase you have in your paper, you need a corresponding reference citation. Your reference citation should have enough information so that your reader knows what you cited and could theoretically find your resource, even if the link to it no longer works. Here's an example of a paragraph with APA in-text citations and an APA reference list. If you look at the in-text Armstrong citation, you can see the corresponding reference citation. As you can see, the Armstrong citation is a lot shorter with just the author's last name, year of publication, and page number, while the reference citation includes the title of the article, the journal, the volume number, the issue number, the page range, and the DOI. We'll get into more details on what those are later in this video. All right, basics of APA style. Let's start with the basics. A reference list entry generally has four elements, the author, date, title, and source. Each element answers a question. Author, who is responsible for this work? Date, when was this work published? Title, what is this work called? Source, where can I retrieve this work? So the reference list entries will answer the who, when, what, and where. Let's say you're using quotations from this academic peer-reviewed journal article and this online article from Vulture magazine. How would you create the reference citations for these two articles? First, you start with the author. Use the author's full last name and use initials for their first and middle names. If you have two to 20 authors, provide last names and initials for up to and including 20 authors. When there are two to 20 authors, use an ampersand before the final author's name. When there are 21 or more authors, include the first 19 authors' names, insert an ellipsis, but no ampersand, and then add the final author's name. No author? Use the organization responsible for the work, for example, government, association, agency, company, etc. instead. If there is no clear organization responsible for the work, use the title of the work instead. Here are examples of the authors from the two articles we are citing. Next, with APA citations, you're going to put the date. You include the year, month, and day. For works with a reference category that includes the month, day, and or season, such as spring, summer, or fall, along with the year, put the year first, followed by a comma, then the month and day or season. Be careful of last updated and copyright on websites. If this is at the bottom of a page on a website, then it probably isn't when the article was created. If the date is missing, put ND for no date. Here are our two article citations with the dates included. You can see in the first one, we include the year, the month, and the day. In the second one, we just include the year because the article did not include a month or day of publication. For the next part of the citation, we have the title. Titles of articles from peer-reviewed journals, magazines, news, etc are formatted normally. Titles of books, websites, journals, magazines, newspapers, etc. are italicized. Only the first word, the first word in the subtitle, and proper nouns are capitalized. If the title is missing, describe the document inside square brackets. So bracket, description of document, bracket. Here's examples of how to format titles from the website article, you can see the title of the article itself is formatted like a sentence, and the name of the website slash news magazine, Vulture, is italicized. For the academic article, the title of the article is again formatted normally like a sentence, and the name of the journal, Psychology of Popular Media Culture, is italicized. To finish our APA citation, we have the source. This is information that can help your reader know how to locate these items. For peer-reviewed journal articles, include the volume number and italicize the volume number. Include journal issue number if available in parenthesis. Do not italicize issue numbers. Give the page numbers where the article appears. 
Finally, include the DOI, aka Digital Object Identifier. For websites, just end with the URL, also known as the link to the web page. For the Vulture article, you can see we just give the URL or the link. For the peer-reviewed journal article, you can see we have the volume number 8 italicized, the issue number 3 in parentheses, then the page number 207 to 217, and finally the DOI. Now we have our two citations, in APA these go under resources. You want to make sure that your citations are double-spaced and also have a hanging indent. And here are our two APA reference citations. So this is what you would put at the end of your paper. But how do you cite something when you're quoting or paraphrasing it in the paper itself? I'm going to show you some of the most common in-text citations. Let's look at some in-text citations. First you have your basic citation with one author. In this case, you just put the author and the year in a parentheses. Here we have an example with a person as an author, and then another example with an organization as an author. Next you have your two co-authors. This one, you have the first author and the second author, and then the year. If you have three or more co-authors, include only the first author's name and et al. for the rest. If you have a direct quote and you have a page number, be sure to include the author, the date, and the page number. If the author is mentioned in your text, you can drop the author's name from the citation. So this is when the author is stated in the sentence itself. For example, as Ebri, then you do the year, rights, and then the quotation. So those are some of the basics of APA citation style. If you want to learn more, check out some of these other resources.